Did you know a disease existed so fast it could turn a healthy person blue and kill them within hours? The year, 1918. As World War I raged, a microscopic killer bred in the trenches. The Spanish flu was not deterred by bullets or borders. This was no ordinary flu. It hunted the young and the strong. For those 20 to 40, your robust immune system became your undoing, triggering catastrophic internal self-destruction. The symptoms were pure horror. Victims were fine at breakfast, shivering by noon, dead by nightfall. They didn't just cough, they hemorrhaged. Lungs liquefied, filling with blood that bubbled from their mouths. Skin turned a sickening deep blue, a horrifying sign they were drowning while standing up. Governments covered it up, calling it three-day fever. Only neutral Spain reported the truth, branding the plague with its name. It tore across the globe in three waves. The second wave, autumn 1918, was an apocalypse. Cities became morgues, families were wiped out, coffins were stacked like firewood, society seized up as doctors and gravediggers dropped dead on the job. When the plague burned itself out, the statistics were a scar on history, 50 to 100 million dead worldwide. It killed more in six months than the Black Death killed in a century. The Spanish flu vanished, leaving a world haunted by a generation stolen. It remains the most lethal natural disaster in modern history, a phantom lesson. The most dangerous enemy is the one you can't see, and it is always waiting to return.